Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. In this very powerful video of septic equation challenge test problem, it is x power 7 minus 1 plus x cube times x minus 1 equal to 0. This is septic equation. We have to find out 7 solutions. While solving this problem, I will use algebraic identities, manipulation, quadratic equation, quadratic formula, real solution, imaginary solution and most importantly, synthetic division method. So let's get started by writing the powerful algebraic identity a power n minus b power n. It is equal to a minus b times powers in descending order n minus 1 plus a power n minus 2 times b. Last term would be b power n minus 1, 1 degree shorter. So I will use this identity to expand x power 7 minus 1. See how it will be. I will write in place of x it is a or in place of a it is x. So I will write x minus 1. Then I will write x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4. And last term let me write completely x power 3 plus x power 2 plus x plus 1 okay so let's put the value over here it is x power 7 minus 1 power 7 like so i can write x minus 1 let me write it x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x power 2 plus x plus 1 and then our second term x cube x plus 1 x minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see x minus 1 is common. I will take x minus 1 common x power 6 plus x power 5 plus x power 4. See here it is x cube and once I will take x minus 1 common from here then it will be left with x cube. So I will write 2x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now one solution is clear. So I will skip this. I will write x is equal to 1 is our solution. Okay. So now we will take up only hexic equation this polynomial degree 6. Okay. Because of we are getting all sign positive, so obviously its one solution would be negative for sure. So let me try x equal to minus 1. If I am putting x equal to minus 1, then it would be 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1. You can see it is getting cancelled out completely. So coming out 0. That means x equal to minus 1 is the solution of this exit equation or x plus 1 is one factor of this equation. So let me take x equal to minus 1 is the solution. I will write, write all the coefficients of the hexic equation to apply synthetic division to find out degree 5 polynomial. Okay. So let's write all the coefficient. Done. Put over there leading coefficient as it is. So 1. Negative 1 times 1. Negative 1. 0. Negative 1 times 0. 0. 1. 1 times negative 1. Negative 1. 1. Negative 1. 0. 0. 1. Negative 1. 0. Now our equation reduces. So x equal to plus 1 is one solution. And see this will give us x equal to minus 1. Now I am reducing its power is degree by 1. So it would be let me write this equation x power 5 0 is there. So x4 term would not be there. I will write x cube plus x square and then x term would be no, not be there then constant equal to 0. Now we are traveling from degree 7 to degree 5. Now equation becomes quintic with two solutions 1 and minus 1. Okay. Now let us proceed this equation x power 5 plus x cube plus x square plus 1. 
फाइव प्लस एक्स क्यूब प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो विथ सोल्यूशन एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस वन टू रूट आर देर सो दिस क्विंटिक कन्वर्ट्स इन दिस सेप्टिक कन्वर्ट्स इन टू क्विंटिक नाउ लेट एस पुट फ्यू वैल्यूज एज वी कैन सी पॉलिनोमियल है आई शुड पुट नेगेटिव समथिंग सो लेट मी पुट नेगेटिव वन द वेरी फर्स्ट नेगेटिव नंबर इंटीजर सो माइनस वन माइनस वन प्लस वन प्लस वन सो इट इज सेटिस्फाइंग दैट मीन्स अवर थर्ड सोल्यूशन इज एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन अगेन आई विल यूज सिंथेटिक डिविजन मैथड that is not only quicker but also give you the correct correct values so let me write all the coefficient 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay leading coefficient as it is 1 1 times minus 1 minus 1 negative 1 1 2 2 2 negative 1 वन वन नेगेटिव वन जीरो सो इक्वेशन कन्वर्टेड इन टू डिग्री फोर नाउ एक्स पार फोर माइनस एक्स क्यू प्लस टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो विद वन एडिशनल सोल्यूशन एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन दिस इज योर सोल्यूशन सो सो फार Three solutions are there: x equal to plus minus one and minus one, or x equal to plus one and minus one repeated twice, repeated root. Now we have to solve this equation. Okay. So how I can proceed? I can see this time we are getting plus and minus sign. So let me consider x power four, this term, this term, and this term all together. So two x square plus one. and then minus x cube minus x so if you will observe this is x square plus 1 whole square is it see x square whole square so x power 4 1 whole square so 1 2 times x square times 1 so 2x square done minus x if i will take common in bracket it would be x square plus 1 now you can see again x square plus 1 is common so i will take x square plus 1 completely outside and in bracket what would be left x square plus 1 minus x equal to 0 so now it is resolved x square plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1 let me write here and second equation is x square minus x plus 1 Equal to zero with three solutions so far. X is equal to let me write plus one, minus one, minus one so far. Real solutions. These are real solutions. Okay, let's solve this quadratic equation. So I can write x square is equal to negative one, and we know that i is equal to Is square root of negative one, so i square we can write minus one. So this is i square. Take a square root both sides, so we'll have two complex solution, which is x equal to plus minus i. Now quadratic equation. I will apply quadratic formula minus b. So one plus minus square root b square one minus four ac minus four. Over 2a, so 2. 1 plus minus. I will write i times root 3 over 2. It is negative 3, so that is 3i square. I will come out. So again, we are having two complex solution. So there are total seven solutions of this septic equation. C plus minus i. 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. four solutions are done and then there are three real solution plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 total seven solutions are there i hope you like this video 
if you liked it please do subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching paying attention bye bye till next video good luck